Hi guys, and welcome back to Ray's Rails. I went to a pretty uh, successful train show today. They had a lot of real nice stuff there. One of the things I was looking for was the 6501 jet propelled boat. Brian's Train Room on YouTube did a little uh, video on this about a month ago, and he showed how it works and uh, gave a little demonstration. I'm really glad to have this finally in the collection. And a couple of different parts on this boat. This is the one that has the little uh, propulsion uh, piece in the back. And it has a little cap you take off. And when you put the uh, cap back on, you put the little tablet into the back here. And it has some kind of chemical reaction. I don't plan on ever using this boat. This will be a display piece. And then the propulsion comes out the little nozzle in the back. And then the boat floats through the water. So I really like that boat. Um, I'm going to add that to the collection. I think that'll be really neat. And a few other things I picked up. I picked up a few um, 2500 series uh, passenger cars. These are probably in a fair condition. They're not really a matching set, but the price was really uh, good. I have quite a few um, F3s in my collection. And I believe this is a nice uh, generic um, uh, drag for behind them. And I think it looks great with uh, your, uh, your uh, Wabash sets or your uh, Santa Fe's or couple other uh, F3s that uh, you have in your collection. This is the second one I bought. I bought a total of four of these. This is uh, the Silver Bluff. This one has the small rivets on top. The other ones just have the colons. So like I said, it's not really a matching set and it's got some wear on them, but the price was outstanding. The third piece I picked up was, um, this was a uh, Silver Cloud. Boy, these cars really need a little bit of uh, lubrication. There's Silver Cloud. You can see this one has the rivets on it too. And uh, I didn't test these yet. But if they need bulbs or something, I, that won't be a problem. And I also have the, uh, the last car on the set. It did not come with the mail car. But I'm still looking for the large uh, door mail car. Maybe I'll find that in the future. But I'm glad to have this set. And uh, sure, that'll add to the collection. This is the one that has the colons. I have a real nice set of these. They're on my shelf, as you can see behind me here. These are on my Wabash set. I bought those to go along with um, my Santa Fe set. I have a real nice uh, set of Santa Fe engines, so I plan on having these to go with um, with that. Also on my uh, layout here, you can see I'm starting a, a junkyard. I bought this gantry crane about a month ago. I finally have that set up, and I'm moving forward with this junkyard. So what I have here is I have an old uh, Lionel tin plate car. I'm going to cut this up with my Dremel tool and I will add it over here to my junkyard. But that's going to be in a future video. You can see it's a real old car, but I think that'll look interesting inside the junkyard. And I also purchased this little lamp. Same thing with this. It was only a dollar. I'm going to uh, take my Dremel tool to that and put that in the uh, junkyard. So I think that'll look pretty good. I'll probably make... Uh, a video about the junkyard in the near future. I got to add a little bit more to it, some surrounding area, and give it a little bit more paint. But other than that, I think it was a pretty successful show, and I think I'm going to have a good uh, afternoon with the trains. We're going to play with them, take a better look, change some bulbs, oil some axles, and I think that'll be pretty good. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching Rays Rails. Uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and uh, have a great day with your trains.